These former child stars have no problem slipping past the paparazzi nowadays. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 child stars who are unrecognizable today. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at famous child stars who have grown up and become unrecognizable. Number 10. Jonathan Lipnicki You might know Jonathan Lipnicki as the little boy with glasses from movies like Jerry Maguire and Stuart Little. You look somewhat like a mouse. However, he's since retreated from the mainstream eye to focus on independent movies and mixed martial arts. Suffice it to say, you can tell. What happened here tonight is the most you've worked in years. I may not be Haley Joel, but I see a dead career. He's been on various reality shows like Drop the Mic, Celebs Go Dating, and Worst Cooks in America. And the dude is pretty jacked now. Bloody hell, Stuart Little's got some gigantic balls. He's also dropped the signature circular glasses that made him so adorable as a kid. Then again, all this is probably by design. We're sure he doesn't want to be seen as that cute kid from Jerry Maguire for the rest of his life. Number 9. DeVay Chase DeVay Chase was best known for two movies, Donnie Darko and The Ring. Why do I have to sleep with Donnie? He stinks. In Donnie Darko, she played Donnie's younger sister Samantha, and in The Ring, she was none other than the sinister and horrifying Samara Morgan. Like Jonathan Lipnicki, DeVay has stuck to mostly independent movies in the intervening years, and in 2016, she appeared looking considerably different in Jack Goes Home and American Romance. DeVay is now a far cry from the creepy, pale, and long-haired Samara. Yeah, that was mostly makeup, but it's an image burned into our memories. Number 8. Moises Arias When we hear the name Moises Arias, most of us think of little Rico Suave from Hannah Montana. No shirt, no shoes, no Jackson. As Rico, he was a fast-talking, enterprising trickster with a Napoleon complex. However, Moises has since shed his childish appearance and Disney star demeanor. For a while there, Moises even had facial hair and dreadlocks, which he showed off as Pimp Low in Pitch Perfect 3. Damn, it's and while he's since lost the dreads, he still looks completely different than he did on Hannah Montana, in large part thanks to the facial hair, piercings, and new hairstyles. Number 7. Angus T. Jones Angus T. Jones will forever be known as the cute, chubby kid from Two and a Half Men. After all, we watched him grow up in front of our eyes. However, he looked completely different after leaving the show thanks to a pair of glasses and a gangly beard. While Angus has mostly disappeared, he was spotted in January 2016 with glasses, a beard, and long hair. That same year, he appeared on Louis C.K.'s Horace and Pete with a much thicker beard and shorter hair. You could maybe see Jake Harper if you squinted, but we doubt it. Number 6. Josh Peck have you seen the boys of Drake and Josh lately? Because man, were they blessed with good genes. Drake Bell still looks a bit like himself, only older, wiser, and more mature. Oh, and did we mention that the dude is absolutely ripped? It's an unbelievable physical transformation. And he would have taken this spot if it wasn't for his co-star Josh Peck. As you all know, Josh grew up to be one good-looking dude. He's slimmed down since his Drake and Josh days, and now rocks a pretty killer beard. You can catch him over on his YouTube channel, and you'd never guess that it was the same person who played the baby-faced Josh Nichols. Oh, hello, YouTube. Number 5. Alexa Penavega. Remember Carmen Cortez, played by Alexa Penavega? The bedwetting older sister saddled with babysitting duties in Spy Kids? My parents can't be spies, they're not cool enough! Well, somehow, this is Alexa now. If you had a crush on her when you were watching Spy Kids and Spy Kids 2, prepare to swoon. While Alexa disappeared for a while there, she recently resurfaced in movies like Machete Kills and Sin City, A Deem to Kill For. Her Spy Kids co-star Danny Trejo doesn't seem to have aged a day in 20 years, but Alexa grew up big time. Number 4. Aaron Carter Aaron Carter was the preteen heartthrob of the early 2000s. Unfortunately, he suffered a few personal and financial problems throughout the 2010s, and in 2017, he was arrested for driving under the influence. His mugshot made headlines, as many people noted his troubling physical appearance. He was pale and gaunt, his hair was messy, and he had a giant neck tattoo. In other words, this was not the Aaron Carter that everyone remembered. A 115-pound Aaron then appeared on The Doctors and was advised to enter rehab. Luckily, he did just that, and is now much healthier and looks a lot happier. Number 3. Taylor Momsen Audiences first got to know Taylor Momsen as Cindy Lou Who, the six-year-old heroine of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Where are you, Christmas? 
Christmas. Why can't I find you? With a round baby face, bright blue eyes, and elaborate blonde hair, she was all wide-eyed innocence and Christmas spirit. We need to talk. And that's how we pictured Taylor Momsen until she showed up as Jenny on Gossip Girl. Watching her grow up there was quite a shock, as she transformed from a sweet, approval-seeking outsider to a queen bee in all black. Taylor has maintained this dark sense of style for her band The Pretty Reckless, and watching her rock out on stage, it's hard to believe that this is little Cindy Lou Who. Number 2. Stephen Anthony Lawrence All you 90s babies probably remember Stephen Anthony Lawrence as the insufferable beans from Even Stevens. Oh wow, it's two tough guys who got a little kid! He became a little typecast thanks to beans, as evidenced by his role as Chunky Kid in an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You're not a real pirate! Lawrence has continued acting, but he also teaches seminars at various institutions like Berkeley and USC. He's also the first to admit that he looks totally different. As he told the Huffington Post, I feel like I've changed so much when I look in the mirror. Although there's still that same twinkle in his eye, grown-up Steven is a far cry from that annoying little kid next door. How much for the pigeon plate? Beans. It's a rooster! Now beat it, Beans! Hey, I'm a serious customer! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Remember, concentrate on the moment. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. I will. May the force be with you. Actually, it took two years of auditioning. Um, I started when I was six, and I booked the part when I was eight. Mr. Long! Mr. Long! Mr. Long! Mr. Long! I got Hufflepuff, and I'm thrilled. Marcus, Will, Will, Marcus. Hi there. Right. Pile in, everyone. What's going on? <laughs> Whoa. Long story, Gordo. I got time. Number one, Haley Joel Osment. Haley Joel Osment broke onto the Hollywood scene in spectacular fashion with his role in The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. He starred as the android David in Steven Spielberg's AI Artificial Intelligence, then kind of just disappeared. In actual fact, he expanded into voice acting, a few comedy roles, and even Broadway. And he's enjoyed a bit of a resurgence thanks to roles in The X-Files and Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile. And I would like to speak to Liz. You can't call her anymore. You're killing her. You might not have recognized him, though, unless you looked at the credits. While he still somehow has that signature Haley Joel Osment baby face, his face is rounder, his hair is longer, and he generally sports a beard. Little Cole Sears, all grown up. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.